So this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, roll dice, and we're going to see. Um, where are we? We're going to see how all of this works. All right. So I need a couple of people over here to help me roll dice. Um, let's see. Do you two mind rolling dice? Are you okay with rolling dice? Is that okay? Okay, I don't want to put you on the spot if you don't want some people don't like it, it's okay. All right, so here, you've got four dice here, you got four dice there. And so let me explain how this is gonna work. Uh, what you do, I, I've got these little boxes because these are bouncy dice, and they'll like bounce all over the place. So you roll them into the little box, then they'll settle. You just read the number off the top of the dice, the, the total, uh, add them up, and I'll write that down for you. Um, I'm gonna tell you, during this uh, demo, I'm gonna pretend like I am a traditional mass production manager, okay? So uh, there'll be some sarcasm involved with this, but I'm gonna manage the process. Honestly, this is the way most managers that I have known in my career, I have managed processes, and so you're gonna get to see how this works with this process with you, okay? So everything I say, I'm just joking around and you know, don't take it personally, okay? So here we go. All right, so we're, we're trying to roll dice. We are trying to get high numbers here because we are trying to perform really well, you know, create value for our customers. So pick up your four dice there, and uh, yeah, and roll them in the box, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what we get. All right. So what'd you get? Ten. Ten. Uh, ten. Make sure I keep track of you. Ten over here, and. Thirteen. Um, okay. And thirteen over here. Um, have either of you rolled dice before? I have. You have. You have. Have you? At some point, you roll dice somewhat. Okay, so I'm just I'm gonna let you know, the average person that rolls dice, the average person gets a 14, and these rolls they're a little bit below average. Um, now I'll tell you, I have rolled dice quite a bit, so I, I'm really good at rolling dice. Um, so I'm gonna watch what happens here, and I'll try to give you some advice to try to help you out because that's I just want you to be successful. Okay, so I'm the manager here. I just want you to be good at rolling. So go ahead, roll them again. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Let's see what happens. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen over here. Good. And. Fourteen. And and fourteen there. Okay, good. So that is just the average. Good. But I will tell you that um, you know I have found that if you put the box this way, that you tend to get higher rolls like this. So that's what I'd like you to try here. So I think that that'll work this time. So let's see. Let's see how this works. Because yeah, we're going for above average, right? It's what we'd really like to get. 17. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Is That's what I'm trying to get to, yeah? 16. And 16, yeah, of course. So perfect. Uh, that's exactly right. So great job for both of you. Um, so I think that that's, that's, uh, that's awesome. So um, yeah, so as a matter of fact, I mean, you guys are doing so well. If you keep this up and you get, you know, get your uh, bonuses, you know, I think this is great. We'll put your name on a plaque, so this would be great. Okay, go ahead and roll again. We'll see. See how it goes. Yeah, it's doing great. 16. 16. Okay. 16, and? 12. Oh, and 12. Okay, so that's, so now we're keeping this, I mean, I'm okay, 17, 16. These are above average. Great job, absolutely. We're putting your name, what's your name? Gilbert. Gilbert? Yeah, Gilbert. Okay, Gilbert. Putting Gilbert's name up. Nice. Yeah, and everyone needs to know. I mean, Gilbert, he's like our great, uh, great, you know, uh, dice roller here. Um, and I got to tell you, look, we're trying to run a business here, and you've got a below average score. We want them all to be above. If we can't, we got to pick up the pace. And what's that? That was his first roll. It was his first day on the job. That was before. That was before training. That was before training. Remember that I trained them and I put the things sideways and then that trained them to be because I know how to roll dice. I, I showed them how to do it. Okay, but I don't want you slacking off now. No slacking off. Okay, so let's roll it one more time. Let's see what happens. Oh, and? Yeah, okay. So now here I know exactly what's going on. Now I'm going to tell you this, all right? Sadly, this is what real managers believe this, and real managers have told me this, like they've tried to coach me on being a manager, they've absolutely said this, and I have just demonstrated it here in class, and that is, real managers believe this, and real managers have told me this, which is sad. Um, and that is, you should never, this is a demonstration of you should never compliment someone 
give someone a reward, um, you know, tell them, reinforce that good behavior. The reason is, is as soon as you do that, you make the, you kind of give them a big head and then they end up slacking off and you can see, because I gave them that reward and then instantly they go down to below average. People end up performing so much better when you threaten them, you tell them that you're gonna fire them and you say, you know, you better pick it up or we're gonna get rid of you and get someone else. And we actually see that that worked. We went from a 12 and obviously you were just, thought you were gonna get kicked out of class and so you rolled a 19 highest score on the board there. So, you know, that's all verified and I just did it with data and I just saw that that's actually true. It's bad. Okay, now you tell me, I love your reaction here. With Alex, I'll ask you, was all this that I did, was that fair? No. no. Why? Why is it not fair? Because it's random. I'm rolling dice. It's random. Like, when you roll dice, you're going to get low numbers, you're going to get high numbers, and there's nothing that you can do. Box sideways, box this way, hold them up, whatever. You are not going to influence what the outcome of that die is by the way you roll the dice, because it's completely random. So when we roll these dice, there was variation. What we saw there, the variation that we saw, was that due to common cause variation or special cause variation? Common cause variation. And there really was common cause variation there. I mean, there were the air currents around, there's the different sizes of the dice, they bounce, they hit off of each other randomly, they bounce across off the plastic, they settle down on the, you know, the texture of the table. All that played into what the outcome was, but completely random, there's no way we could tease out why someone rolled a 19 or why someone rolled a 13 or why someone rolled a 10 because it was all just common cause variation. But me as a manager, notice when I'm managing, trying to micromanage every little observation that I see, even though they're all common cause, vari even though they're all common cause variation um, uh, reasons why there's, there's variation in that process, I'm giving them instructions. I'm telling you, you know, hold the box this way, do it a different way, try harder. What I'm doing there is I'm adding complexity to that process and um, adding confusion to the process, adding layers of, you know, of processing on top of what it is that they're actually doing. And all of that work, when, whenever you make a process more complex and harder to understand, does the quality and productivity go up or down? Damn. Quality and productivity go down, okay? But me doing that stuff, did that have any impact on making the process better? No, no. but I thought it did because I did it and I got a result immediately after that. But looking at one data point isn't gonna tell you if a process is getting better or worse. You have to look at a distribution of the data, all right? So now look, I don't want this other, the other half of the class to, um, I don't want the other class, half of the class to feel out of, uh, feel out of it. Do you guys, do you wanna try this? Sure. Is that okay? We'll try it over here, because it might just be the side of the room. Maybe this side of the room is better at rolling dice, you know, than the other side. So I give each of you four dice, and all you do, just roll them, add them up, put them in the numbers, and I'll write them up here. So we'll do this, I'd be like a competition. You improve your gambling All right, stuff. what'd you get? <laughs> A 17, yep, good, and 17. Okay, oh. hey, hey, good rolls, great. Okay, let's roll them again, let's see what we get. Those are good rolls, above average, I like it. What'd you get? 21, that's awesome, and 17. 17, okay, great, those are great rolls. Okay, roll them again. Yeah, this is, obviously this side of the room's doing a little better, right? Let's see what we get. I got 17. I got 17. 17, and 17, okay, interesting, let's roll them again. See we got. Yeah, this is good. These are good rolls. That 21 again. 21? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. I got 17. 17. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I guess I'm not. Let's roll again. That's really I got 17 again. 17, yeah. And 21. And 21. Okay, now everybody's laughing. So let's investigate this. Let's figure out why it is that you're laughing at this, okay? So um, let's see, over here, we were rolling four dice. Uh, are we rolling four dice over here? Yeah. Yes, okay, same. And we're using the little bucket thing and rolling them in there, it's all the same, that's the same. Um, there, over here, we had, we discussed it, there was common cause variation, which was like the dice are bouncing into each other, off the plastic, they bouncing around, the texture of the table, the air currents, the weight of the dice, the size of the dice, all that stuff was playing into it. Common cause variation over here. Did we have common cause variation over here? Yes, we did. Okay, great. So we had common cause variation here, common cause variation here. So far, it's the same. Um, so why were you laughing? Now, let me ask you this. Um, is it possible to roll four dice and to roll a 17? Yeah. 
Is it possible to roll four dice and get a 21? Is it possible, is it possible to roll four dice, you know, whatever that was, 10 times, and roll all 17s and 21s? Is it possible? Yes. yes, it is possible. So what is it that made you laugh at that demonstration? Why were you laughing? Because why? It's not normal. There's something you know in your head, in your head you had a vision. Now you may not have viewed the normal distribution, but you had an idea that when I roll dice, I'm gonna get a range, you know, from fours to, what was the high, 24s up here, right? Fours to 24 with 14 in the middle. Um, and I would expect there to be a range of values. And all of you, I loved it. You know, when I, we were rolling, you were actually okay with a couple of 17s and a 17 and 21. Everybody was like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. 17, 21, 17, cool, no problem. And then you got the third one, it was like, oh, okay. But then all of them are 17, 21s. And what you were saying in your brain was, I'm expecting this distribution and instead what I'm seeing is just this tail, or I'm seeing just numbers that are way up in here, and you say that's unusual. It tipped to a point, remember, because it is possible to roll all 17s and 21s, okay? That is possible. So at some point you said to yourself, you know what, I know it's possible to have 17s and 21s, but the probability of that being so is so low that I'm willing to laugh, or I'm willing to raise my hand, or I'm willing to call out, hey, hey, Something's weird there. Now there is a probability that you're wrong, that actually this is just completely normal and everything's just going fine. You just know that the probability is so low that you're gonna be wrong that you're willing to call it out. And this is exactly what we do in management using Six Sigma principles, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the pattern of the data. And if the pattern of the data looks like this, okay, just normal common cause variation, we don't criticize people, we don't say, hey, great job for having a Great job for having a really good you know, outcome of that. If it's just due to common cause variation, if they didn't do anything <coughs> special to get to that, if they just were part of the process and that's just what happens in that process, same thing with when you have a below average, it's like half of our observations are gonna be below average. It's, it's just part of that process. Where we get excited as managers is, is there a special cause of variation? In other words, do we see a pattern that is so unusual that there's such a low probability of that happening on its own even though it is a possibility. There's such a low probability that I feel comfortable saying, hey, 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 I think something's weird there. You know, I could be wrong, but there's just a low probability of that. Um, so it, we suspected that there probably is a special cause of variation. Was there a special cause of variation? No, just, no? Are they weighted? I don't know, take a look at the, pick up one of those die, take a look at just one of them. Pick up one and take a look weighted? at it. Uh, what have you got? Uh, Five okay, we've got all fives. Uh, there's one in there with a six. Okay, so one, all of them have all fives except for one die that has sixes and twos, and that's it. So the only rolls they could ever get are 17s and 21s. They would always roll like that. Special cause of variation, okay? So this is a special cause of variation. Now look, if this is a good thing, remember we were trying to get high rolls here. So if we're managers and we figured this out, well, we should roll with these dice all the time because we're gonna get, now is there variation over here? We have variation? Yeah, we still have variation. The variation is smaller than the variation that we had over here and the results are better. So we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna have that special cause of variation be our new process. And in that case, then the special dice, they aren't a special cause anymore. Then they would just be a common cause and then we would look for the next improvement.